investigation. He's been charged with battery on a police officer, handcuffed with zip ties on his hands and feet, and forced to go to the hospital for a psychiatric evaluation. The catch, he's only five years old. Yeah, his name is Michael Davis. He's diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, which his mother says has led to fights at school. But when the school district said it had a plan to change Michael's behavior, his mother says things went wrong. How you doing, Mike? Good. Michael is energetic. Yeah. Thelma Gray says her son Michael is a comedian. His biggest problem is his ADHD stops him from thinking before he speaks or acts. He's not the discipline problem that he was made out to be. Those discipline problems include fights with other students. Thelma says the school wanted to change that behavior by having Michael meet with a school police officer. He could come out and talk to Michael and normally the kids are normally, you know, the scared straight. But the meeting didn't go as planned. Thelma says Michael became agitated when the officer entered the room and it ended with Michael arrested in handcuffs. I was made to believe that Michael saw a police officer and attacked a police officer just on site. Is that what happened? That is not what happened. Thelma found out what did happen when she obtained this police report. Lieutenant Frank Gordo says he placed his hand on Michael's and the boy pushed my hand away in a batting motion, pushed papers off the table, and kicked me in the right knee. When Michael wouldn't calm down, the officer cuffed his hands and feet with zip ties and took him to the Stockton Kaiser Psychiatric Hospital. Michael was cited for battery on a police officer. I didn't know until two weeks later that my son was zip tied for over two hours. KCRA 3 asked the Stockton Unified School District and the school district police to speak about Michael's arrest. Both said they could not comment because of open investigations by the San Joaquin County Grand Jury and the U.S. Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights. With really young children, some of that's very abstract, so we need to try to make it a little bit more concrete. Shannon Cannon is an expert on education and child behavior at UC Davis. I have been around young children who, um, when they can't express themselves and don't feel as though they're being heard, they really need to make a loud statement in some way, and it's often a very physical statement. In the last week, the U.S. Department of Education released this report saying the Stockton Unified School District delayed an evaluation of the student, which denied the student a fair and public education. They added that the school didn't offer behavioral services because it would cost the district money. I've been asking, I've been begging for any assistance in, in helping Michael get placed appropriately, and this is just what they chose to do. Now, juvenile court judge eventually dismissed the battery charges against Michael. KCRA 3 contacted the school board member whose district includes Rio Calaveras, Calaveras Elementary, but she would not comment on Michael's case.